Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. I wanted to make a video about the organization of my refrigerator. Um, the way that our kitchen is set up, we have like our refrigerator kind of like tucked, um, you know, into one of those half cabinets. but this side is open and the refrigerator itself doesn't really have much function right now so I'm going to show you a quick picture. And my goal has been to organize this space and make it a space where I can easily access important information about our house, kind of like an organization center. And I was inspired by some images that I found on Pinterest for doing this. So I'm going to kind of take you guys through the process of how I'm turning that into an organized station. So the main things that I want this to house is um, a place where we can put recipes for the week and like food and groceries that we need, a place where I can put and store coupons that isn't like all out there, a place where I can store important contact numbers and phone numbers, something to write with, and then like any kind of like art or decor or pictures of the moment that I want to put on there. So what I did was um, I decided I wanted to have part of the fridge actually be a chalkboard. And I went to this website called Blick Art Materials, and I'll put a link in the sub bar. And I purchased this because um, it would be, oh, here we go. <laughs> Comes off. It would be extremely difficult for me to um, buy like chalkboard and like try to get it up on the fridge and it would wiggle and wobble. So what I did was Blick offers, and this was $6. I don't know if you can see very well, but this is um, magnetic, just like a big magnet big magnet thing <laughs> and you can stick it on the fridge and it can act as a chalkboard but in order to make it work I also purchased from Blick um, this spray paint and this is actually chalkboard spray paint and another girl online I saw use this and she said it worked really well on this and I'm just going to spray um, this chalkboard spray paint onto this and then I can put it on the fridge and this will be kind of like a mini chalkboard where we can write recipes and like things we need to remember and grocery list etc. And also from that website because it was really cheap it was 89 cents I bought just a thing of 12 colored dustless chalk and we're also going to hang that on there. Um, so this is kind of like my mini haul for now and I'm going to go ahead and spray paint this and I'll show you guys that process and um, let's start organizing the fridge. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick test in this box, which I use for another spray paint project, just to make sure that the paint is um, coming out evenly and it looks like it is. And then I'm just going to come and do big, even sweeps on this project. I'm weird and I use my thumb with this because I don't know, I don't have enough pressure with my like top finger or whatever. But. Okay, so here's how my fridge organization turned out. As you can see from the before picture, I parred down um, all of our coupons to just be the main ones that are going to be expiring this month that I really need to use and some other like important movie tickets. And then these clips are what I use for chip bags. Um, so it's very, very, very streamlined and not like too much clutter on this side of the fridge. And then my favorite part of this organization has been this side. I think it turned out awesome. Um, so this is how my chalkboard turned out. I love it. This magnet is extremely strong. I mean, it sticks on the fridge so well. And I'm using it for our food this week. And then when my husband is going to karate because his lessons change every week. So... Um, I, I did, in total, I think three coats of spray paint, and I let it dry for 24 hours before I used it, and then I primed it with chalk, meaning that I just put chalk over the entire thing to get the board ready for writing, and then I was able to... Um, to write on it. So, and because my fridge is textured, I don't know if you can see, I was really worried that that texture was going to come through in my writing, but this piece of magnet is actually thick enough to where it doesn't. So you can write cleanly on it, it stays on the fridge, and that thing is not moving. So, um, I also have a few pictures, um, you know, some p favorite pictures from albums that I put on the fridge. So it's just this much more par down and streamlined. 
And then um, this I got from the dollar store, and I use this for what I need to get at the store this week. And I put it on this piece of paper because that way I can just rip it off the fridge. If I wrote it on here, I would have to rewrite it, and who has time for that? Um, then I just have like important um, appointments and that sort of thing up here. And then in this container, I have a kind of a clippy do. It's one of those really big industrial strength ones um, that holds things that's not going to slide down the fridge. Um, and this bucket is from Michaels. I got it a long time ago for a buck. So even if I had to buy it new, it wouldn't be an investment. Um, and I just keep pens and pencils in here and then the chalk for my board. And I keep it in the box so it doesn't get all dusty inside the bin. And then my favorite part of this organization station, so to speak, is this um, plastic bin and this file folder. Um, because now all of these papers that used to be on my countertop are now housed in one place and I can easily find them. So this bin is really nice. It's from Staples. Um, and I think it was the cheapest one I could find that was really strong and had magnets on the back. And these magnets rock. I'll put the um, link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. I think it was around $15, but it was totally worth it to have a spot for this on the fridge. Um, and basically what I keep in here, this is from the Martha Stewart line at, um, I think it's Staples. Yeah, I think Staples. Um, and I had a coupon for it, so that's why I purchased it. But inside of here, I'm just going to set this on my garbage can, um, are all sorts of files. And I'm going to go through with my label maker and label these. But they house different items that are important for our house to kind of keep things running smoothly. So in this first one, I have coupons to Bed Bath & Beyond. And in this second one, I have... Um, you know, takeout menus for different restaurants. And here I have coupons that aren't going to expire anytime soon that, you know, easily fall off the fridge that I want to keep in here. This is information about our neighborhood, our directory, our trash pickup schedule. And in here are recipes I printed off a line that I really like that I'm too lazy to write on note cards, but I need to. And then um, in here I have paint swatches and that sort of thing um, for when I want to touch up something or you know have color schemes for the house as I plan. So and there's several extra tabs in there so I can put more things as I think of them but that way all of these things are stored in here. I plan to have a section for contact numbers um, and other important documents that we need to access frequently that need to be kept downstairs. Um, so anyway I think that this station is so much more functional than it was before um, and it just is a really good way to keep me organized. So I hope you guys like it and you can leave a comment and uh, tell me what you think. So see you guys next time.